Generic Seasons greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect. Yes, I know I forgot to say Seasons in the last episode. That's the least of our worries, though, because, as you can see, we've got three toilets that are not plumbed in for whatever reason. We've got the staff area that's still full of concrete and is apparently not working, and we had to move stuff around from the chapel of there to there. Yeah, it was a bit of a mess, and um, that's why you don't make a really rudimentary Christmas tree and um, try and put people inside it. This is a gingerbread-type shape. Oh, I say gingerbread. It's that cliche sort of gingerbread um style but this this is obviously made of concrete not gingerbread although to be fair i have had uh gingerbread snacks that are about the same consistency either way let's see if we can crack on with fixing the toilets it's it's only because of the the routing issues that we're having uh, a bit of bother so what we'll do is we'll dismantle that utility there that should fix that one we have is that it no it's actually now fixed itself i'm afraid i don't have an answer for you I don't have an answer, because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Strange. Anyway, so, this episode, we're going to receive some more prisoners. We're going to get a total of 20 prisoners, so 7 minimum, 7 normal, and 6 maximum. We've got 2 prisoners up for parole, but we don't have a parole room, and we want some dog handlers and armed guards. Now, in order to get the latter, we're going to have to have somewhere for them to go, which is a bit of a problem. Also, you can see our danger level's going up. You can see need for exercise is there, but we do have... Ah, that's the problem. This is what people were mentioning, actually, so yard. The reason these things weren't getting built, and also the reason why we've now got some needs that we haven't filled there is because I didn't did, didn't designate this as yard so hopefully now that this is sorted we should get these buildings so we'll see what happens in a but a moment also we want to start putting the uh, extra bits on the outside which is going to be some lights like little baubles and stuff hanging off the place but uh, we'll get to that later on for the moment I think we need to get an armory so what we're going to do is have an armory in here actually what we'll do is we'll have armory and it doesn't have to have a minimum it's not got a minimum size I'm gonna have it like that because then security hang on if I do security like that can go in here which is a minimum size of 4x4 now that's now sorted we'll go over to the deployment tab and then change that to staff only because quite honestly it should be laundry isn't staff only but I think it should be because we've not got anyone working in there so we might as well have people not going and nicking stuff from it because I think you can get stuff from there uh, no you can't actually there's nothing from there but you can get loads of stuff from here which is why we definitely need to assign that to uh, staff only we will put a solitary door in here and then we'll put a, a wall in there and then there obviously we do need to put this furniture in so we'll have a couple of things in here and a filing cabinet in there and then in here it is guard lockers which will go on actually no let's do the weapons rack first because the weapon rack has to go one space uh, or one one orientation so it's that and then that and then that should do us quite nicely okay so you can see um it is just about time for people to turn up what i'll do is i'll go to staff and then to a dog handler and let's get the canine units in so oh look at that <laughs> so we've got some canine units they're going to go straight into the kennel for some reason and put the dogs to sleep no, sorry, not put the dogs to sleep. They're not going to put the dogs to sleep. The, the dogs are going to sleep. Big difference there. Um, yeah, so we'll put those there. We'll go over to deployment and dog patrols. We will assign dog patrol to those as well as here. And then we'll have the others just wandering around. Actually, we might have them go up and down there. But uh, actually, no, I think that's that's okay. I think that's fine for now, for now. So we don't have any armed guards, but they will uh, get sorted in a moment, as you can see. Uh, that says... Hang on, have I, have I put the wall in the wrong place? I might, yes, the wall is in the wrong place. That ah, doesn't really matter. So we'll cancel off the rooms here. And then we will put another security bit in there. And there you go, that's now all sorted. And once that table's in, we can then hire some armed guards. Actually, we'll be able to hire some armed guards now. So armed guards, one, two, and they're armed with... Is that candy cane shotguns? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is gift wrapped, gift wrapped shotguns. Interesting. Let's go to deployment and then guard patrols, and we will set a guard patrol right in the centre with an arm guard on there. So there's our arm guard going back and forward. Don't need to put one in the canteen, but I think I will anyway, just to get the grant and then it's job done. Okay, so. It looks like we can go over to grants and get another grants. We've got max sec infrastructure. We've got acclimatization, um, crackdown on drugs. We'll go for that one because it's quite easy. Danger level is going down mainly. I'm 
guessing due to the... Oh, hang on. Equipment underscored carried present. So he was trying to get a present brought in. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it seems to me that we've got... God, look at all the giant presents in here for lighting. There's a lot of lighting, but that's all going to be okay because when we put the tr when we put the extra lights on, it should be fine. So, yeah, it's uh, now full of 36 prisoners. That's good. So 14 in minimum, uh, 14 normal, and 8 maximum security, which is strange because we got a decent mixed bag last time. So I don't know why it's just the eight, but I'm not gonna not gonna complain about it. Let's go over to the rooms and then parole, and we will have what's that? Santa's workshop. Where you, are, where you send your prisoners to die from boredom while making a car license plate. Okay, let's not do that. Let's just put in a parole room here, which is a minimum 5x5, five five, which means it's not going to go there. It won't be able to go there. In fact, we don't actually have any room for parole, if that's the case. We really don't have any room for parole. No, it can't go anywhere else. The only thing we could do is alter one of these rooms here. So we're just not going to have it. I'm not going to mess around too much to get that in. So, what haven't we got? Haven't got a morgue. No, we haven't actually. Infirmary's in, but psycho no, no morgue. Cleaning cupboard, we haven't got. Dormitory. Holding cell, which is 5x5, five five, so that can't be that one there. Classroom, no. Mail room, no. Shop. Shop, we can put a shop in. Yeah, shop will fit in because it's a 4x4 four four and it's measured from that bit there. See, originally, the way the game would measure it uh, would be by working out what the longest dimensions are. So this would be actually a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This would be an 8x8, eight eight, so it would say, yes, that is fine, but actually, no. It's uh, a lot smarter now, which is better, I guess. Uh, we'll go over for we'll go for a table in this corner here, and then obviously we do need some shop shelvings, which will go there. And that should be a nice shop. We do need to assign people to work there, so we'll go to our logistics and prison labour. We'll assign three jobs to there. We'll actually assign them to the laundry as well, to be quite honest with you. And then we'll obviously change that to shared, and there's that sorted. And stop go to the armoury and make sure that's staff only. I thought that might have happened. Which is a bit of a shame. So it's now free time. So are any of them going to do anything other than go back to their cells? There's our one of our grand completions. None of them... Oh, hang on. We have a snowman. Yes. Nice. Oh, we've got two snowmen. Oh, that's good. I want to see them getting built. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that one. We'll just go to our... Grants here, and we'll say uh, we'll get max infrastructure because we get a nice little bonus there. As you can see, we're on minus 145, so we're actually doing a lot better than we were previously. Increase the size of our security force. There's that one done. Obviously, well overstaffed. This we've got 28 guards for 36 prisoners, most of whom are low or medium risk, so it's really sort of pointless the amount we've got, but you know, it is what it is. It's not supposed to be serious, and I hope you understand that. Let's put some stone on the bottom here, just uh, walk into the edge because it looked quite nice. And then, I think we do a shakedown because we haven't done one in quite a while. The thing is, it it is quite easy to escape from this one. You can go from there and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you're out. Or you could just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's still eight. So eight, and then you could just run to the end. And there's no no one outside to stop you. There's no fence. That's how it is. And obviously, one of the quintessential Christmas movies is The Great Escape. You know, Christmas has not really begun unless John McClane is stopping terrorists at Nakatomi Plaza or Steve McQueen jumps barbed wire on a motorcycle. That's that's really when, you know, you, you know that, ah, right, now Christmas has begun. So, uh, what else do we need? We haven't got something in this corner here, and what can we have? What can we have? Santa's Workshop wouldn't fit. Morg wood, but don't really need it. Library, no. Forestry, no. Classroom, no. Exports, no. Mailroom, no. Parole, no, sadly. No, we couldn't have a we can't have a holding cell either. So the only thing we can have really that we useful is a cleaning cupboard. That's it. Um fine, I guess. Prison labour. One, two, three, four. Let's just sign nine people to it. Oof, why not? Why not? And there you go. So, oh, oh! I thought they were. 
I thought they were doing the snowman, but they're not. It's just all the guards looking at the snowmen. <laughs> I thought they'd be cracking on. Currently sleep, but uh, oh, look at the reindeer. <laughs> actually, are they supposed to be reindeer or are the dogs? No, they're not. They are actually canine units with just, just antlers on the heads. <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. Um, that's a bit worrying that there's footprints on the outside there. I'm guessing someone came this way to do something. I can only assume that that is the case. It's a bit problematic if it isn't. Now we don't have any... Um, we don't have any teaching areas. Oh, are they making exercising it says? We don't have any teaching areas so we can't get the armed guards. Or anything like that. Looks like we have we are getting visitors here. That's good. People going in here because it's brekkie. Looks like the food is yeah it is candy canes and hams and looks like is he having two small Christmas puddings and a large Christmas pudding? Yeah, I can understand why you would only want the one and leave the rest because quite honestly that is a filling meal. <laughs> Meal? I can't really class it as a meal, can you? Anyway, looks like people are... They're on the weights bench, but they are not making a snowman. The guards seem to like doing it. They seem to hang around the yard for some reason. And it's not work, is it? No, it's not work. Looks like we have got the spiritual guidance on the go there. That's good. And danger level's gone back down. So, we've got this and this sorted. We do need to go to deployment guard patrols. Uh, actually, no, let's just assign guards to the rooms. There's the ones assigned. Don't need to do them anywhere else because we've got patrols in that one. Laundry is fine. Actually, laundry, we don't have a guard there. We've got so many guards, we might as well station them. Looks like the dog smelt something and a packet of cigarettes there. Okay. So, they just get taken off them. They don't... Uh, they don't have any problems there because it's not a legal narcotic, so it's just they, they get to, if they smell smell that it's taken off them and then that's it. So we're still looking for people who are going to do the snowman, but they're not. But at least it's put in now. We've got a couple of these in and a couple of Christmas trees, which is nice. So that flooring is in. We've got in terms of planning nothing else in place. I think that's actually about it, you know. I think that might be about it. I mean, the other stuff we could get, we could, hang on, is the people, no, I was going to say the people outside, but it's not, it's just the, the elves as well as the uh, Santa's, Santa's bag. It's just rubbish as well. Bags of coal for naughty people. Um, which, obviously, if they're in this facility, then that's all they will be getting for Christmas, I guess. So tradition goes. So... What? Are they not going to do that? No, free time. Apparently they just want to sleep. Even though it's sleep time coming up. <laughs> In terms of our... Um, valuation, we're actually minus 20 grand. Because we've spent more than... Hang on. How can we have spent more than what this is worth? There's no depreciation in the game. I'm guessing it's because I've just been really inefficient, so the capacity isn't very high. That's all that means, really. We could get higher risk prisoners, and then we would we would start increasing this, uh, actually be in profit. But it's the first time that I've seen, at least, a, a prison in negative figures. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I really, I really can't remember seeing that before at all. Either way, let's just do the finishing touches. So, we need some baubles. So what we'll have is, we'll have them coming down, and then we'll have like a... Sort of little things like that on the end. Actually, is that too big? Because that's probably going to be the star at the top. No, that's fine, actually. Yeah, that is fine. Okay. And because these are outside, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare to, to place. But hey-ho. There we go. And we won't be able to put the ones at the bottom there. And they'll wait for the stars. We will have to run some electrical cable, I believe. Oh no, they are working because they're outside ones. That's fine. Oh, that's that's making it light up very, very nice. Although that one is still in progress. 
yeah, they're still not placed yet. They will get there. When we did this last time, there was so many problems with <laughs> with it. It just the wouldn't place properly. They wouldn't be able to do other things. Yeah, it was just a it was just a complete nightmare. A complete nightmare. One minimum security's turned up. Let's let's alter that. Let's just go over to intake and turn off anything but high risk. Because quite honestly, I think that would be more interesting. Haven't done a full shakedown yet. Um, that guy's going back and forward. Have I signed that wrong? No, it is definitely armed guards. Yeah, so we should get armed guards going back and forward. Armed guards in there. And then the dogs going up and down here. But it's not. They're patrolling there. Yes, that is definitely an arm, that is definitely a dog patrol, that one. But for some reason, that guy is patrolling that. I don't know what's going on there. Very strange indeed. Either way, a bit of free time. Are any of them going to build a snowman? Where's he going? Oh, yes, he's looking at a snowman. Oh, cool. And someone's thrown up on a snowman. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Too much eggnog or something. Right, so are we well overstaffed? We are well overstaffed. Am I going to pair stuff down? Uh, not Christmas time. No, no, no. We will, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the firings until um, after Christmas when everyone's spent up and then before New Year and then boom, you're gone. Because, uh, you know, with that sort of employer. We've got two people in solitary and I'm not too sure why. I'm going to check. We have found drugs. Okay, and, but they're also fearless. We can't recruit them. Nothing like that that we can do. But uh, yeah, that's where they are. We haven't done... A shakedown, another shakedown rather. Don't know if we need to. We have got doing someone oh, a couple of people doing a reform program. That's alcoholics group therapy. Also a food tray in here as well. So it looks like someone's managed to take their food and then watch the TV. I'll sit with the food tray there and watch TV. So that's pretty good. I didn't know they could take that out there. Unless it's been a staff member. But no, we haven't got staff needs on, so I don't know how that food tray's got there. This guy is also working out completely naked in the snow. And, you know, that's a thing. Um, more spiritual guidance going on. The cleaning cupboards, obviously, we've got... Do we have people assigned? Yep, we have people assigned. Mm -hmm. There's another notebook page. In terms of this mod, because I haven't really addressed it, I think it's quite decent. In fact, there's, there's a couple of things that it does that um, I think it's a bit better than the game, in fact. Because the, the, it seems to me that the... The icons are a little bit more pronounced. Uh, the, the 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 planning seems to work well. Like I'm, I'm, I think that's a, I think that's brighter than it was previously in the game. You know, I would go for that standard, unless that's been something added in the recent patch that I didn't know about, and yeah, that is that is very very possible. It's highly possible. There is our armed guard strolling around, I and mean, if we go for a free fire, you can see them holding the candy cane shotgun there. But we're not going to keep that on. I don't know why only two of the snowmen have been, been built. The rest are at stage 1 of 4 and 0%. Yeah. Don't know why that is. Very strange, very strange. Anyway, we best off finish this thing off. So, start at the top. Um, really... The only way I can do it is place them... Oh, we can't place it like that. Oh, okay. This is going to be interesting. It's going to have to be... Basically just a, a big blob at the top because it's too small to fit in. Now I'll have to do it. It's a bit of a squashed one. It's a squashed one. And then there's loads of knives and forks I'm guessing that they've stolen. But that wouldn't make sense because... No, it's erroneous results. That wouldn't make much sense. Because... They can't steal metal knives and forks from here. Hmm. And there we are. There is the somewhat squished light at the top. And that is our prison completed. For, you know, as much as we're going to get it completed, there's still loads of stuff we could do. We could have CCTV, we could um, get more grants and stuff like that, but it's not, it's not been about that. It's been about trying this Christmas mod out, which, like I said, I, I must confess, I quite like this Christmas mod. I think it's quite good. It's uh, found in the Steam Workshop, Christmas mod mashup. You can check it out yourself. And, yeah, that's it. Overall, for... A very, very sort of short mini-series on this thing. We've made a prison that holds 36 
members and functions okay. I think the only thing that we are in dire need of really is we technically do need a morgue just in case there is any uh, problems there. Or, well not, not all, but and probably increased solitary size and parole. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I think that's all we will need. That's all we would need. Either way, I have enjoyed the series. I hope you have too. I am going to leave it there and call it a day. There you go. There is our nice festive prison. Hope you have enjoyed the series and indeed the build. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic seasons partings.